Hey, this is Keeping It Real TV. My name is Kendall B. And we're back at the Her World YWIS conference put on by DeVry University. And um, Spark Fun is doing this great thing um, with soldering irons. And these young ladies here at the table are trying to put together the Simon game. You know, you press the button, it goes burm, beep, burm, 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 burm. I have mine right here, but I don't have a soldering gun. So I'm going to let the, the really smart girls work on theirs. And we're going to take you to a couple of stories of some students really making a difference, helping out our friends in Africa first. We're going to take you to Heritage High School, where they raised nearly $25,000 to help build a school in Sierra Leone. And some of the students from Heritage actually got a chance to go over to Africa. And while they go, I'm going to try to make heads or tails of this. Hmm. Today we have an assembly for Mad Week, which is Make a Difference. Um, we raise money for Sierra Leone, Africa. Um, we started my sophomore year, so three years ago we started Mad Week, and we just raise money for people in Africa. Last year I traveled to Africa. We built a school out there with the money we raised. We raised over $27,000. Mad Week is such an empowering thing for students. It empowers our students. They got to pick the project. They're the ones raising the money. They're the ones coming up with the ideas. And to see that their idea that started with just a kernel of something, they can make a difference. And to shrug off that apathy and to get out there and do something, that they can make a difference. And of course, it empowers the people of Sierra Leone. I went to Africa last summer so between my junior and senior year summer. It was a very life-changing experience. It was completely different than living in the United States. I mean, the roads aren't paved, children aren't wearing clothes, they don't have shoes on, their houses are a mess, they're made out of straw, completely different than what ours is. Lindsay's a student that I know the best that went to Africa and her confidence and her self-awareness and knowing what she wants to do with her life has increased tenfold. She is fundamentally the same person but the way she expresses herself is so much more mature and so much more aware. It's a great cause and it's cool to see how many students can get involved and how many people want to make a difference and I do feel that there is a stereotype on teenagers that, oh, they don't want to do a whole lot, but when you walk into that gym, you see thousands of kids that are so eager to help out and get involved, and that it also, it's like a chain reaction. It makes you want to help out and get involved just because they're so excited and thrilled to be there. It may be the cliche, like, life-changing, but it's cool because you're making that difference and so many people are with you. If I could say anything to students and to teenagers in general, I would tell them that you are powerful. You are more powerful than you know, and you need to not listen to the people who tell you are powerless, not listen to the people who tell you you need to fit in this little box. You are powerful and you can make whatever you want happen.